Three outlaw bikey gangs have been blamed for a brawl, a shooting and five stabbings in less than 48 hours on the Gold Coast. Queensland police fear a new bikey war has reignited on the Gold Coast. Massive brawl outside a surface paradise strip club. Police have set up a new task force to target the Mongols, Bonditos and the Comancheros. Detective Superintendent Brendan Smith says it's clear there are tensions between clubs and also within clubs but it's wrong to suggest a new chapter is unfolding in the Gold Coast's bikey wars. Those involved in the violence are refusing to cooperate with police. We've already started dialogues with key players in those gangs, about the consequences for them, and hopefully they'll listen. The violence began with a brawl on the footpath outside a surfer's paradise nightclub on Friday night. Five men have since been charged with a fray. The second incident involved a man who was shot in the arm and took himself to hospital. Police are still trying to work out exactly when and where he was shot but believe it was at Southport. On Saturday night at about 10 p.m., three people were stabbed in a park at Burley Heads. About 4.30 a.m. on Sunday, two other men were stabbed in a confrontation at a unit at Bigoro Waters. Two men went to the address and threw an accelerant at the glass front door. Several people inside emerged and violence broke out on the footpath. Dallas Morgan, a Mongols bikey who was charged for stabbing said that he was acting in self-defense to prevent him and his girlfriend being cremated in a unit which had been sprayed with fuel. Morgan walked free on Monday as he was granted bail. An accused bikey associate has walked free on bail after allegedly stabbing two rivals in the eyes. The very public and violent confrontation on the Gold Coast has sparked fears of a fresh bikey war. Two men from Redland Bay, aged 22 and 42, were stabbed. The younger man has four wounds to his abdomen and chest. The older has small stab wounds to his face and torso. They got themselves to hospital. Two people are in custody over that attack. None of the victims have life-threatening injuries but the five who were stabbed have significant wounds. There was nothing new about gang disputes and police have the resources needed to deal with the situation. They are all driven by greed. There is a mindset of power, one week they are best mates, the next week they are stabbing each other. Police have appealed for anyone with information about the incidents, or camera footage of the incidents to make contact. The new task force has been codenamed Operation Tango Grey.